So let's have a look at the Arduino code. And it's a bit, little bit of configuration. For example, where I connected the motor to the motor shield, the dimension, the mounting position of the GPS and the leader, the leader. The GPS is not used for positioning, it's just used as uh, reference. The encoder, the motor, and then the period of scan, so the uh, main cycle period is 20 milliseconds, and uh, the period of ROS communication is 60 milliseconds. So here I create my robot uh, object with all of this parameter. Uh, so you can see he's the constructor of robot uh, here. So you pass all this information and that's it. And here the important thing is uh, on ROS configuration uh, Raspberry and Arduino communicate through serial free. So I created this one that I found on the internet to communicate on a different serial that is not serial one. So with this little hack, creating a, a new hardware object, we can communicate on a different serial that is not the the one. And the Arduino is an Arduino 2, so it has uh, three serial. And this is the communication speed that has to be the same as declared in the raw serial node uh, executing on the Raspberry. So here are the callbacks uh, prototype that we will see it later. This is important. This is the ROS node handle, and these are the ROS subscriber that I made, that I use for, um, um, for example, the command mode is uh, to say to Arduino if the robot will be in automatic mode or um, manual mode. Here, all the command in manual, the speed. The trajectory, so we receive an XY point, and uh, I will subscribe to a Slam Out Post that is a topic made by uh, Slam uh, Note. So I will subscribe to it so I can read this data. And on the other end, I will publish some topic. So, for example, robot post, robot speed, the IMU, the IMU, and uh, all data that are processed in Arduino and send it to ROS so I can read it in MATLAB. So, in the setup, we will declare the serial. Uh, this is just for the bug, the serial 1. The serial 2 is used to communicate with uh, the GPS. As you can see here, the hedge is the, uh, the GPS. Uh, we pass the um, serial 2 as a parameter. And then we initialize uh, my, the robot. So initialize say, the IMU and other stuff. And then we initialize also the node of ROS. And we subscribe to the previous uh, subscriber object that I say and then we we advertise we publish this uh, this topic then we set the PID of the motor uh, to control the speed and uh, we attach the interrupt to handle the, um, the encoder I put it here because in the class I cannot like the um, use attach interrupt with a callback defining in the class. Uh, it was a 
problem so I define it, it outside and this is the callback uh, so for example each time that a change is detected in the encoder pin uh, it is encoder pin fr uh, from rear in this case is the 49 so every change on the pin 49 it will call this callback and that in that case I update the encoder in the, um, the object my robot dot motor front rear encoder update the encoder so I will update the encoder like this and then we save the time to control the period of scan so we say that it's 20 milliseconds here between here and here here we say if if the old program here uh, needs less than 20 milliseconds wait until 20 milliseconds is reached so the main control so the main program is cross control so let's have a look at cross control it's just uh, depending on the, the mode of the robot selected we call command mode manual or automatic so in the manual we read the the command of ROS so and we decoded it so if it's a stop just uh, say to the motor to stop uh, forward go forward and so on so when automatic mode is selected and uh, we want to calculate the desired speed and x uh, and x and y depending on the speed profile selected so you can have square trapezoidal or s curve and also uh, the positioning system uh, can use the common filter so the robot position will be the calculated by Kalman and also the orientation or uh, the robot position is just calculated from odometry then I calculate the angle from actual and the target position and it's always be a fixed orientation so as always the same orientation during the trajectory and so I can calculate the, uh, the speed, the linear speed in X and Y. It's important to note that the transformation between the global and the robot system is not considered. So in the starting position, the global and the robot system reference has to match. So if the fixed orientation is active, we correct the orientation we check the limit and then with inverse kinematic we um, can find the um, speed of the wheel so this is the uh, ROS control and then update speed we just calculate the speed uh, looking at the difference of encoder values on the previous cycle and this cycle so if you have a look at motor f object so it's a motor object so the motor speed is calculated with the current encoder value mean uh, less the old encoder value for a constant this one is depending of the encoder resolution and it's calculated like this so we have the speed in uh, radians per second and then we send that speed to the PID of the motor so the PID of the motor 
is this one and we calculate the proportional part and the integral part like this and then we send a PWM value from 0 to 255 using uh, the Adafruit motor shield uh, library then we also update the position update the position we calculate the odometry position of the robot so it's basically an, uh, an integral so it's the sum of the the older uh, value more the change in speed for the cycle period so then we have the odometry position x y the orientation as well and then here we set the orientation angle between minus pi and pi and then we also calculate the orientation of the IMU then there is the update common filter that we will see in the next video